When Batya Bat Paro called Moses Moshe, the reason she called him Moshe is written in the verse. Because I took him out of the water. But in the ancient language of Hebrew, it's not precise. If based on the reason that she took him out, she wanted to call him in his name, so she was supposed to call him Mashui, not Moshe. Moshe is the person that is taking other people out of the water. That's the meaning of the word Moshe. He is saving others from the water. When Batya Bat Paro called him Moshe, she didn't meant that he will remember what happened to him in his history, that he been took out of the water, because else she would call him Mashui, that he been took out from the water. But instead she called him Moshe. Because she wanted to remind him, like that I took you out of the Nile, of the water, you should go and take others out from the water. That's why she named him Moshe. Because she realized that the fact that he'd been saved was not for himself, was for the purpose of his life, to go and save others. <coughs> And that's why when we are recognizing miracles and wonders and amazing combinations and coincidence in our life, we should recognize in it the mission and purpose of our lives. To go and to spread and plant faith in the hearts of all of our surroundings. Not with pressure. Pressure is not talking to us. Not with anger. Anger is not the language we understand. Not with rebuke and not with violence and not with great wisdom. Just with simplicity, with friendship, with loyalty, with good attributes. To be polite and nice. Like you like people talk to you, that's how you talk to others. Like that you hate people talk to you, don't talk to others. Always, always be honest. And then the light of Hashem will shine through you. Many people think Mashiach is far. I'm telling you, if we will just going to hold ourselves to that simplicity and going to spread it in the world, Mashiach is already walking between us. You don't need big things. You don't need big things. Chad Bet Knish Tachada. One place of truth. One place that people are uniting themselves with truth with love, willing to do good. This is what that is needed for the redemption to come. A group of honest people. You cannot make honest people. You can make yourself honest. That's the only thing you can do. And to pray for others, to care about others, to help them in their journey. But if you won't work on your honesty, on your kindness, on your generosity, nothing will work for you as a righteous person in the holy path. The holy path is the path of holy people. You want to be holy? Work on your holiness. You want to be truthful? Don't lie. Don't make up stories. Stop avoiding the truth, your fears. Be honest. Go and say, I was wrong. I was weak in that time. That's the greatest truth of them all, to be able to admit in your mistakes.